Hi, I'm here with Jim Witham from GAN Systems. And Jim has a bunch of applications lined up he wants to tell us about for GAN, not only in wireless power transfer, not charging, but power transfer, but also in power charging circuits. So Jim, you got some very interesting stuff here. Can you just kind of take us through the significance of some of these advances? Sure, I'd love to show you. I think what we'll do is concentrate right now on the consumer area. I mean, we've got a lot of neat designs, both in wired adapters for things like cell phones and computers, also things like wireless charging. So cut the cords for all various kinds of equipment. And then in between are some other interesting consumer applications. So um, on the adapter front here, this is a company in Taiwan that took their 160 watt silicon adapter and redesigned it with GAN, and now they have a 200 watt in about half the size of their silicon predecessor. This one is really cool. This is an Italian company named Eggtronic. This is a 65 watt adapter. So you probably carry around one of those big silicon ones. This one here is about a quarter the size and it's tiny. It's starting to look like a cell phone charger. Now Jim, the first time they started to use advanced transistors for that, the package got kind of hot. What are these like? Well, see, that's the key with GAN. Because you can make the power supply more efficient, you don't generate as much heat. So then you can make things smaller and still be able to keep the case cool and meet all the industry industrial requirements. On Semis just come out with a new controller to do over 75 watt power supplies. This is the reference design that we've done with them using GAN transistors um, and that controller to make a really tiny 300 watt power supply. 30 watts per cubic inch. The best anybody's been able to do in silicon is 22 watts per cubic inch. So you can see you can get a lot better power density by using GAN transistors. And then this is another high power adapter, a 200 watt adapter. It's made by our, one of our Chinese partners, Raylinx. Tell us a little bit about this dual sonic personal care. So this is circuit. kind of fun. Everybody thinks about GAN, they're thinking about data center applications and adapters and, and automobiles because they're really high volume. But we got a ton of customers that are just in all types of marketplaces that are modest volumes but found really interesting ways to use GAN transistors. And this is one of my favorite right here. This is a medical instrument and this is the laser driver that uses our GAN transistors. Very high frequency, seven megahertz operation. GAN's perfect for those high frequency applications. Can you point out the GAN device on that? The GAN devices are right there. There's two of them right on the middle to right side of the board. This is a Class D audio system. So this is for audio amplification. It's really amazingly, I've been in a couple sound rooms where there was a silicon amplifier and a GAN amplifier, and they play the music first on the silicon and then second on the GAN. And it's remarkable, the crispness of the sound. You can close your eyes. I was listening to the Eagles Hotel California at one, and you could see you know, Joel Walsh hanging over there and guitar there, drums over there. Really magnificent sound you can get out of GAN. And this is a reference design that we do with P-Semi, the Murata um, semiconductor division that shows off the power not only of their high-speed chips, but our GAN devices. I see, and to be clear, that's because of the, the fast switching of the, the GAN exactly. device? Exactly, exactly. Right. Fast turn on, fast turn off. Their drivers can supply the current that rapidly, and our GAN transistors can react. And so I think this is really the wave of the future. Today we have cords for delivering our power. I mean, in the future, we're gonna cut the cord, and it's gonna be all wireless power. And here's four applications that show this. This one right here is done by Bumblebee Power. It's an electric scooter. It's a 100 watt charger, so a person can just take up your scooter, park it over the pad, no connections necessary. That's good because it's simple, but it's also good because connectors are the things that fail in systems. And so you can imagine somebody plugging and unplugging their scooter every day as they go to and from work. It doesn't have to happen anymore. Connectors don't fail, don't get dust and dirt in there, and you get your charge. This is really cool. So this is through the wall wireless power. This is a wall, transmitter on one side, receiver on the other. That's eight inches thick or 200 millimeters. And we're sending 50 watts of received power through that wall. Hmm. Now, why would you want that? Well, there's lots of applications where you have power inside a house or power inside a building and you want to put some electronics on the outside. It might be a security camera today. In the future, it might be a 5G wireless modem to get high-speed data into your house. Nobody wants to drill a hole in there to get power out to that system. So what we've done is we've put together this demonstrator that shows you can go 
really wide distance with very high power and that's enabled by GAN. You just can't do this with silicon. This is a, a partner that we work with, New Current. They're really good at making wireless power systems, so I'd recommend anybody that's looking for design advice to look them up. They're using our 300 watt power amplifier here, transmitter coil here, receiver coil here, and load, a, a light bulb. So we're delivering 150 watts to this light bulb, and you can see the spatial freedom that you have. I put it in place, you get the wireless power transfer. This is about two inches of throw distance. So high power, big throw distance, wide angle, that's what you get with GAN wireless power. And I see the efficiencies right up there too. We don't want to waste energy, right? We live in a world where CO2 is really important, and if we burn up all our energy as wasted heat and it doesn't go to the load, that isn't really green, it really doesn't solve the world's problems. So yeah, you have to be high efficiency, and we're getting the same efficiency levels with wireless power as people do with wired power. So there's no penalty. And then the last one I want to show you, a transmitter and receiver pair from a company named Wybotic. They're another one of our partner companies. And what's really interesting about this, they're showing factory robot charging, some drone charging, and also some underwater robot charging here, is that they've come out with a full product lineup of transmitter units, charger units, and receiver coils. So now a customer can go and say, Here's how much power I need. I can go buy one of those and one of those and I can integrate it in my system and they've got working wireless power kind of you know, on demand. And so I think this shows the growth of wireless power transfer that we've seen over the years from where people were putting together just demos of how it worked to now there's products that you can go and buy and get it shipped to you tomorrow. Big changes in, in wireless power transfer and GAN and GAN systems leading the way. Those are quite interesting developments, Jim. I think from what you're telling us, eventually we can expect to only see power cords on consumer devices that you see in the Smithsonian. I think you're right. I mean, you know, 20 years ago, we cut the phone cord. 10 years ago, we cut the ethernet cable for our data. We're only a few years away from cutting the power cord. That's awesome. Jim, where can people go to find out more information about some of the applications you've been telling me about? Go to our, our website, www.gansystems.com. We put all of our data sheets on the web, all of our reference designs with the Gerber files for the boards and complete bill of materials on what's on that design, as well as these application examples and the kind of results you can get by using GAN transistors. Thanks, Jim. All right, thank you.